Okay, starting over. Hi! <laughs> it's been a while. Um, I'm currently in the process of sorting out my craft room again. And I got a very exciting box that I didn't know was coming and didn't have anything other than like nothing on it. Um, it was inside a DHL bag and I was like, huh? But then I thought that's the right size for what I think it could be. And uh, I'm excited. How beautiful is this box though? Um, wooden box beautiful love it and oh just that is a really really nice touch and so I'm guessing this is my certificate so uh, I, I don't know if you could tell but it's from mass cat doll um, some of you who know me outside of YouTube will have seen heard maybe from me that um, little business card um, that I was getting a doll from Mass Cat Doll. I got her certificate of authenticity and what, just, just what it is. And um, information about um, how to change bits and pieces. This is a really substantial um, Pamphlet. This is really nice cardstock, and then there's some information about theme lines on tan dolls. Funnily enough, I didn't get a tan doll. Um, I actually was considering getting one in another doll uh, manufacturer's lay uh, pre-order on layaway, but um, this year has been. I've spent a lot of money. <laughs> oh, oh. This is it's fuzzy, it's velvety. And you just lift this up. Oh, that's exciting. Oh, she's got eyes and a wig. Oh, and it's squishy on the, it's, I love this box. I wanna live in this box. Although I, I did automatically think that's a bit like living in a uh, coffin and that's not cool. Um, yes, yeah, she's a she. I pretty much exclusively buy girls. I like girls more than I like boys. Sorry. Although, I, no, it's not true. I like everyone. I just prefer girl dolls because also they can wear my blithe clothes. That's another clue as to, I mean, the box is kind of a clue, but this lovely wig came with her, which is good because she hasn't got hair yet. And it's actually the perfect color. And her eyes are pretty too. I did get some more eyes, but I think they're actually in my boy doll, whatever he is, Napoleon, Granado Napoleon, because he's got tiny little eye sockets. Oh, she's so light. Oh. oh, and the inside of the box is plush as well, and it's like, oh, and I think I just broke it. Or the glue didn't. Yeah, I broke it. It needs uh, re-gluing or Rehammering. It's still really nice, but I'm guessing it's been bashed around a bit in the mail. And also, it's really humid, so you know. Okay, okay. Shut up, Kate. And open the door. Oh wow. Um. That that's a look. <laughs> but uh, you can see that the magnet's really decent because uh, it stayed on like that. Gosh, she feels, she's just so light. Um, that comes off like that, and that might just slide off. Yep, there we go. Gosh, she looks so pale. And I Like, I'm pasty as fuck, and she looks so pale compared to me. Um, so this is a Mascat Doll Joy in normal skin. Um, so she's a one-sixth scale, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful BJD. Uh, she's so delicate. Um, I can't remember if she was on sale when I got her and I don't really care because I wanted her anyway. So um, I ordered her in August and... 
like I said, I hadn't had any shipping notifications, so this was, like I squealed a lot and freaked my husband out because he's working from home today. And um, yep, look, double jointed knees. The, the resin is super smooth and just feels really delicious. So she doesn't have like, she can't do the splits or anything, but that's fine. Um, and she's got the daintiest little feet. They're so cute. Uh, where's the camera? Look how gorgeous little feet. Oh, sorry, I'm just showing off her snatch to you. That's lovely. You can tell I'm a bit out of practice. Um, no seam lines at all. And the sculpting on her face, it, she's just beautiful. She's so beautiful. And yeah, the resin is buttery and oh my God, I love her. And I think, I think one sixth scale is now, I always said I wouldn't go for the tinies or the smaller dolls, but I actually think one sixth scale mature minis are now my jam. So I wish it was a better day because I can't really do a face up today. I think it's too humid. Um, although also her face is so tiny, I'm not sure I could even do it. <laughs> like it's the size of my thumb there like it's ridiculously tiny but she's so cute and she needs a home and she needs some clothes and I've kind of got a story or character idea in my head for her not like a extensive one or anything but um but I also I think I'll have to see when she's uh oh she can even get one of her feet completely flat that's cool Oh look, so she can kneel down really well. Oh, she's so gorgeous. I am smitten. And she can wear blithe clothes, so that's a bonus. Um, so that was just a completely awesome, unexpected doll delivery today. Um, and a completely random video. I don't know if we'll be doing any more because I don't know when I'm getting any more dolls but um, maybe one day probably next year because you know 2020 has been a clusterfuck for everyone so um, and hopefully also we're getting um, fiber internet so we'll actually be able to like do things I might even be able to stream on twitch when I'm playing games or something although it was mostly just going to be people watching me suck at them, but there we go. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys are all doing well and uh, getting ready for Christmas and or whatever holidays that you celebrate. I, I'm not really about Christmas, I'm more just about twinkly lights and, and pretty things. So yeah. Okay, see you later.